No point in getting in the raising hell with it then. It's too late, you gotta join us. But I had one experience I'd like to tell you about that I really enjoyed. We were playing a couple years ago, and we got out there, and they got us down 17 and nothing. And we went to have it. It was perfect for me. I knew what I was going to say. And I told them, I meant it. I said, I'm so tickled to death. I'm just so happy that we're behind and we're in this position. We're going to see how much class we got. We're going to see how good we are. If we're not good enough, we're good enough, we'll go back and beat them. If we're not, well, we'll find out. The year 1960, the site, Grant Field, Atlanta, Georgia. Alabama's Crimson Tide, Georgia Tech's Rambling Wreck. Paul Bear Bryant, Bobby Dodd. A sellout crowd would witness the greatest comeback in college football history. Tech dominates the first half. Two touchdowns and a record-breaking field goal puts Tech into an improbable 15-0 lead. As the first half ends, Bama's Gooby staff produces Bama's only first down. As the two teams headed to the locker room, no one could imagine what was about to transpire. Bama players had a clue. They kept their helmets buckled. Some fought for the back of the room. But the unexpected was about to occur. A speech that would make Rockney proud and Gip stand up was in the making. This just makes it perfect. We're behind. They're all fired up. We got class, we're going to find it out. We got class, and I know we got it. Then when we get the ball, we got to have 11 people. 11 people is just going to do it. What followed was one of the greatest halves of Alabama football. Bama dominated the second half, overcoming great odds. Bama legend Trammell leads the squad on his first score. Leon Fuller plunges in from the one. But Tech fights back. Hatback Sari, fullback McNames, and Chick Granning ground out Tech's own first down in the second half. On the first play of the fourth quarter, Pat Trammell is injured on this play. This only fuels the fire. Bobby Skelton, fired earlier in the half, is given a second chance. Skelton fiercely drives the Crimson Tide downfield. Here he hits Ron Sinet for the next score. Eight minutes, 44 seconds remain. Skelton back to work. Miraxley, Bama fights his way back into the game. Skelton to White. Fuller dies for a measured first down. Skelton hits battle for 18. Two minutes remain. Facing fourth down again, he hits Ronzanet for 13 and another measured first down. Time ticking down. No timeouts remain. Skelton finds Huey Towns, Butch Wilson, where he's pulled down at the tank eight yard line. Eight seconds remain. Bammer kicker Tommy Brooker injured on the sideline. Clock ticking. Ryan sends in Odell. Skelton calls the signals, and the rest is Crimson Tide legend. Richard Odell, the young man Lincoln Odell, kicks the first and only field goal of his career, and then will win 16-15. And when the sun had set that day, the sky was crimson.